Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to install the MinGW compilers in Windows. And the first thing we're going to do is go to MinGW.org. And apparently, this is a virtual machine I just installed. I'm going to install them after this video is over. Um, first thing you got to do is go to MinGW.org and go to Download Installer. Once this figures itself out, it'll bring you to the SourceForge link. And sure, I don't even care. Um, now we're at SourceForge. It'll bring you the ex download the exe for the setup, and you will now run the exe. And if you want to do a license, go ahead. It's the GPL v3, I believe. Um, you can install it, and I would recommend just keeping the default directory. You can use any directory you really want. Just remember that some directories require permissions and the root directory does not, or the C drive directory does not, it's not Linux, so. Um, this is going to download the installation manager, this could take probably 30 seconds, I, I don't really know, you can, you can count with me if you want, but this will take a little bit of time. Um, continue, once it gets there. Okay, so now this is the uh, setup and the things you need to install are the MSYS base, uh, uh, MinGW developer tool, and I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so then here's where your options start. Um, MinGW32 base is a basic installation. That'll include the C compiler, and that'll be it. Now, if you want to use ADA, or ADA, I don't know what that is really, I've never used it, um, you can install that. If you want to use Fortran and program in the same language your grandpa did, you can install that. If you want to install C++, that's the G, G++. And if you want to use Objective-C, you can then use um, the Objective-C compiler. And then to install these, you would go to Installation, and then um, Apply Changes. Apply. And now this is going to take a really long time, so I'm probably just going to edit this part out of the video. You don't really need to do anything. Just kind of sit here and watch a progress bar. Okay, so I've decided that while this is going to finish up downloading, we're going to write a really simple program to compile. Um, I'm going to write a let's just do a C compile or a C program. So include standard IO, oops, IO dot H. Um, let's do int main. Um, we don't really need to take any input arguments, so I'm not even going to bother with it. And printf is the print function for C. I'm just going to print a simple hello world. And then return 0 because I made my main program an integer. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this really quick. And oh, geez, where did I put that? Okay, so. Oh, Damon isn't my real name, but I figured that'd be a badass name for the computer. So, uh, where do I want to put this? Documents. Sure. Hello world. Dot C. Um, just make it all files. Y'all ain't markup language. What the heck is that? Whatever. I'm just going to go to all types, which apparently is at the top world.c. So when this is done, we're just going to compile this program and I'll show you how to use the compiler. Okay, so now we've gotten to this point and it's installed everything into the directory that we've uh, set in the installer. So close it. Uh, you can close this too. And that directory is located on the C drive. So C, uh, mingw, and then bin you'll see um, all the applications, the ones I'm going I'm to show you, G, uh, GCC really quick. And as you saw that flash real quick, um, it just says uh, didn't have any input arguments. So I'm going to run the command line really quick because I think this is the fastest way to do it. So open up a command, and if you just type path in all caps, it shows you the path of everything. Uh, the Windows searches to do a command, so right now if I type GCC, it won't recognize it as a command, so now we need to set up the path to enable GCC from the mingw bin directory. So you do set x path, 
all caps, and parentheses, you do, or not parentheses, quotations, you do print, percent sign, path, in all caps, so that takes your current path, and semicolon to split it up and add a new path to it, and then C, colon, backslash, min, GW, oops, GW, and then backslash, bin. So what this does is it takes um, the path that exists, assigns the new value, um, the current path, plus min GW um, bin directory, which is where GCC, G++, Objective-C, all those compilers are located. Hit enter, so the specified value is saved. If I were to do it right now, I don't think it works. Yeah, because it only works if I open a new command line. So, CMD... If I were to type GCC right now, yeah, it says fatal error, no input files. So really quickly, I'm going to show you how to use GCC. Um, CD, oh, did I put that on your DIR? So CD documents, DIR, I should only have one. So okay, so I have hello world.c. So now I can use GCC, hello, oops, hello world.c. I can use dash O, just like I would in a Linux, um, environment hello world dot exe compiled it now I can type hello world dot exe and run it so now it says hello world so that's how you use um, install compile and you know what let me just try it again so that's how you install add GCC to the path and then that's how you would now use GCC in the command line you can now compile and execute a program using the MinGW compilers. If you like this video, go ahead and show me some love and hit that like button. If you didn't like this video, go watch someone else's video. I don't really care. Um, if you have the time, you can go ahead and click subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.